It's time for another camping vlog. This time we are camping in the Smokies, you guys. I'm so excited. I've never camped. I've actually never even hiked in the Smokies. I've just come here to shop in Gatlinburg. I've only been in the Smokies to sightsee in Gatlinburg and hang out like most of you probably have, but it's my birthday. So we came to the Smokies to camp. We're at Cosby Campground, which is like, I think back in the Smokies behind Gatlinburg towards North Carolina. I think we're actually really close to the North Carolina line. We're gonna be here for two days, plan on doing hiking and a lot of relaxing. Tents are all set up, food is on the grill. Mel finally got the fire going. Let's check out her fire. Mel, you wanna to talk to us about your fire? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the wood is burning very well here, which is good because usually the other campsites we go to their fire wood, it's like still too wet. So it never wants to really start. Y'all have probably seen that in our other camping vlogs that she always has trouble starting the fire. I guess because it rains so much out here so when they chop the trees for the wood, it's still really moist and it's hard to light a fire. So we got, um, for this campground, I guess because it's in the Smokies, I, I'm assuming that's why, you have to buy this special certified heat treated wood that you can only get not at this campground but down the street at another campground. It's like $8 a bundle and we got three but it's working, so I don't care how much it is a bundle, as long as we get a fire. Let's check out our tents and hammocks. This is Mel's hammock, Mel's tent, my tent, my hammock. For dinner this time we did, I guess they're called hobo packets, where you put like multiple things into a foil and make on the barbecue. So I did sausage, potatoes, and peppers for mine. I think I was a little overly zealous in packing it because it's definitely enough food for two people. I'm not gonna be leaving the excess out because I don't want Mr. Bear coming to eat it. Dinner by the campfire in the Smokies. You really don't get much better than this. I'm all snuggled in my tent, warm and hopefully safe and sound from bears and other creatures who like to eat humans. It's, I guess, cold outside. Mel's been cold tonight and she's been shivering in her Patagonia jacket. I was literally sitting in shorts and not cold. And even when I was changing into my pajamas, still not cold. Maybe I'm just flaming, a <laughs> flaming body temperature. I'm not sure. Either way, time for bed hopefully I don't turn into a bear snack tonight the first time I see a bear I do not want it to be in or outside of my tent I'm gonna enjoy the sounds of nature and fall asleep and I will see you guys in the morning good morning you guys just got back from the bathroom went and freshened up brushed my teeth washed my face used the bathroom got ready for the day now it's coffee and breakfast time and then it's hiking time I slept okay last night my back always hurts when I'm camping. Maybe it has to do with my age, 36. But my back always hurts. Like I have two sleeping pads that I sleep on, but I think I sleep on my side. And when I do, the floor is hard, so it like crushes my hips together. So I woke up with a sore back. However, last night I brought a pillow from home and my head and neck rested a lot more comfortably. It wasn't too cold last night. I actually had a down blanket that I stuffed inside my sleeping bag and I actually took it out because it got a little too hot and then I bunched it up under my head for more pillow support. Overall it was a good night. It got really windy between like 4 and 6 in the morning, like really windy. Woke me up, couldn't sleep. Other than all that, I slept well last night, ready for an exciting day of hiking. We drove down to the day use area of the Cosby campground. Right off of this little parking lot is the Gabe's Mountain Trail, which is what we're gonna hike. It's finally hiking time. We had a lazy morning, went and got some ice, so it's a little warm. It's actually a little bit after probably 11 o'clock. This hike is, uh, we're, ha we're hiking to Hinwallow Falls, so I think it's 4.2 miles round trip. We are jacked with snacks. I'm already eating my beef jerky. I don't know if that's a good sign or not that I'm already eating a snack. Um, we're hoping actually not to see a bear on the trail today, which means that's probably when we'll see it. Uh, 
I don't know if you guys can see clearly through the camera, through the trees, but there's a beautiful waterfall right here. The trail was up all the way inclined up to that sign. Hopefully it flattens out a little bit. We have about 1.7 miles to the falls, Hinwalo Falls, as you saw in the sign, if you could see that. Onward and upward. Well, that was a little sketch, but we made it. These rocks are really slick from the rain, having to go slow, which I am anyway, because I don't want to come up on a creature or a snake. First time in the Smokies, I'm sure I'll get used to it, but you know, I don't want to be eaten alive. Although I know bears are genu genu generally don't want to eat you. It has happened, but only if they're spooked or they think you're coming after their cubs, which I'm not trying to do. This hike is definitely not for the weakened spirit. It's been pretty much uphill the whole time, which means on the way back, it'll be downhill. And sometimes, I don't know, I think downhill might be worse because you're like having to hold yourself up from sliding down and this trail's kind of muddy. Got a little break. My shirt is so sweaty. My backpack is even sweaty and I'm still cold because of the breeze. So probably not the best to have my back feeling like that. So it's 0.1 miles back to the regular trail from this waterfall, straight uphill. Not straight up like scaling a rock, but uphill. And then the rest of the way should be a lot of downhill because it was a lot of up coming this way. Downhill's not always great because, you know, it's harder on your legs and it's, the trail's kind of slippery because it's been raining, but here we go. It was 2.32 miles in to the waterfalls from the parking lot. So that means it should be the same back. So we're looking at 4.64 total round trip. I'm game for it. I'm really craving the burritos waiting for us in the car and I really want my chocolate bar. But first, I've got to work for it. A family just passed us and said they saw a timber rattler and a copperhead on the trail. I don't know if that's true. Um, had, you know, obviously they saw two snakes. The dad supposedly got them off the trail, so they said be careful. So we're being very careful. Don't know if we've passed the area where that happened yet. But, um, regardless, not everyone knows their snake identities. I sure as hell don't. I don't care what kind of snake. But I don't want to see a see. snake, I know. <laughs> but I definitely don't want to see a venomous snake. So we are being extra cautious. If we happen to come upon one, and it's safe to do so, I will definitely show y'all, 
but hopefully I don't get to show y'all because I want to avoid that at all possible. I'm taking this last little bit like in grandma slow because my ankles and legs are so sore. I guess from all the uphill and the rocks and the roots that you have to climb over, it makes for sore legs. My legs are also out of shape and need to be stretched and foam rolled, so that could be part of it. I could see the road from here, so I'm almost to the finish line. We did it, we finished that hike. We are back at the campsite. We had like three or four people pass us on the trail and tell us they saw snakes. We didn't see one. We also didn't stick around to try and see them. We got the hell off the trail. My legs and feet are sore. It's time to relax. My clothes are soaking wet with sweat. I think I'm gonna have to use my bath wipes, bathe down, change clothes. It's time to eat, sit by the fire. I just want these boots off. My feet are killing me and I want my sandals. It's finally time to rest. I need this thing to stop rocking though. It kind of makes me dizzy. Hike is over. I went to the bathroom and washed up with the bath wipes. Now I'm in my pajamas because I forgot to bring extra clothes for after the hike. And now I'm relaxing in the hammock. Mel's over there. Boop, 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 boop. We woke up to rain. I'm sitting in the tent just waiting for it to stop so I can get out and pack everything up. Hopefully dry everything off a little bit. Everything's packed in the car, but everything's wet. So when we get home, we're, hopefully it's not raining at home. I don't know, we have no reception here. When we get home, we're gonna have to take out our tents and our hammocks because they're sopping wet and dry them out so they don't get moldy and gross. It stopped raining just long enough for us to pack everything up and put it in the car. We had plans to kind of hang out here this morning, obviously make coffee, have breakfast, make a fire. None of that happened. It's okay, I love the rain, it's beautiful. It's kind of peaceful to wake up to. So now we just gotta go get ready for the day, wash our faces, brush our teeth, and then head out to go find breakfast and coffee somewhere where it's not raining. Bye campsite. Bye bye. We'll see you next time. We never made it to breakfast because the place that we were going to go had like over an hour wait. So we're driving home through Maryville and decided to stop at this Papa's Creole Kitchen place. We, we had like some energy bites for breakfast and coffee and we're still sipping on our coffee but this place looks so good and we're stuck in a long line of traffic so we're like why not? We weren't planning for all this but we're going to enjoy it. that food was so good I got fried shrimp po' boy half so it's like lunch special between 11 and 3 it's 975 for a half of a po' boy and you can get like three different types of gumbo some corn soup and red beans and rice so I got the shrimp po' boy and chicken and sausage gumbo the gumbo was almost as good as mine and my mom's and my mom makes the best gumbo mine is not as good as hers but mine's pretty good almost as good but not quite. Oh, and we got boudin balls. What did you get? I got half of a catfish po' boy and red beans and rice. It was so good. If you're wondering why we're yelling, it's because there's a lot of traffic. Let me show you. That truck is very loud. Found out what all the traffic on the main road was for. They're having a fall festival, a Smokies Fall Festival here. So we stopped, waited through a bunch of traffic to finally find a parking, and now we're heading in. It's a pretty big event, lots of, uh, lots of booths and stuff, so I'm actually really excited to check it out. And it's in the Smokies, surrounded by mountains with fall-colored trees. You can't really go wrong with that. Let's not forget that we are dirty, smelly campers slash hikers who haven't showered in two days. 
and we're going to hang out at a festival. Hopefully we're not too smelly for everyone. festival. Mel got a cute shirt. I got ice cream. Of course I would leave with some food. Now onward and upward to Kate's Cove. It was like, by the way, if you guys haven't got the point yet, this vlog is going to be like the never ending adventure, but it's my birthday adventure. So just ride with me throughout it and see what shenanigans we get into. It's always fun. You guys have to admit that. It doesn't get much more beautiful and peaceful than this, you guys. Tennessee has amazing fall colors, as you can see behind me on the mountains and the trees. Absolutely spectacular. I feel like I'm in a postcard when I drive through Cades Cove. We saw a wolf or fox or some sort of creature like that. Haven't seen a bear yet. Um, saw quite a few deer, but they were up in the shadows and the trees kind of far from the car, so I couldn't really get them on camera. So still crossing our fingers for a bear. We stopped here on the side because there was a car in front of us going like 10 miles an hour holding up the entire line of people. So word to the wise, if you come through Cades Cove and you want to drive two miles an hour, that's fine, but pull over to the side every now and then and let the line behind you pass so everyone else can continue on their way. Just a little bit of courtesy, just a tip, tip of courtesy. at Kate's Cove, no bears. It's like we're being punked. Do bears really exist or are they a myth? Are they an idea? I don't know. I've never seen one in the wild.